hi viewers you're welcome to my youtube channel again so in this video we want to consider the concept of profit and loss all right as it relates um how to find the profit of a transaction or whether the transaction ended in a loss what then is the amount of the loss all right so every merchant or trader that goes into a business has the intention to make a profit but of course, in some cases, it turns out to be a loss. So how do you know the amount uh, of profit or loss that is uh, gotten? So first of all, we'll represent uh, profit as P and then loss as L in the course of this lesson. Now, so what is profit? So our profit is simply equal to the cost price of a particular transaction, uh, sorry, the selling price of the transaction minus the cost price. Okay, so if I have uh, gone to buy a particular goods and then at a particular price, which is called the cost price, and then I sell it at a particular price called the selling price, so the subtraction of the two will give me the profit. So that means that my P is simply the selling price, which we can write as SP, minus the cost price, which we can write, uh, write as CP. Okay, and then uh, likewise for our loss, the loss is uh, now the other way around. Uh, of course, as you progress in your learning, you are going to see that we can also use this formula to find this loss the only thing is that if you calculate your profit and it is positive, then it means that there is a profit. But if it is negative, then it is a loss. But at this level, to calculate our loss, you just turn it the other way around. Because what happens is that um, at the point where there is profit, it means that the selling price is greater than the cost price. Okay, so and when this happens, you subtract okay so that you will get a positive value which is your profit okay but then at the point where there is a loss so it means that the cost price is greater than the selling price so someone buys something um as a nigerian we use naira so someone buys something at uh, let's say a hundred naira and then sells it at uh, 80 naira so you see that this person is selling this at a loss so in other words, the cost price is greater than the selling price. And so to get your loss, all you need to do is to subtract the selling price from the cost price. Okay, and so what that means is that our L is simply equal to CP minus our SP. Okay, so this is for cost price, sorry, for profit and for loss. Now, when we are able to, of course, we're going to do examples on this. When we are done getting the selling price or the, sorry, the cost, uh, the profit or the loss of a particular transaction, then there's also another aspect that is important. And that is to check whether there is, uh, uh, sorry, the percentage of uh, the cost price that was the profit or the loss. Okay, so we are going to look at the percentage, what we call the percentage profit or percentage loss. Okay, so the percentage profit or percentage loss, the both of these are actually uh, with respect to the cost price. Please take note of that. So this is simply equal to, since this one is talking about percentage profit, so it's simply equal to the profit all over the cost price, then multiplied by 100, of course, over 1. So you know that when you multiply by 100, it means you're taking that to percentage okay so and then uh, for the percentage uh, of course you know you can write this this way percentage profit okay so which is how i'm going to write the loss now so the percentage loss is equal to now your loss all over the same cost price then multiplied by 100 over one this is usually you know represented in percentages now in other words i can actually get my percentage loss by saying cost price minus the selling price all over the cost price then multiplied by 100 over 1. Why? Because we have already said that this represents the loss. So instead of writing the loss, I can write this. 
But of course, I know that this is equal to the loss. And the same is applicable here. I can write SP minus CP in place of my profit. All right, so quickly, let's look at some examples. Okay, so you will try to see these examples. This is the first, second. Okay, so I will read. The first one says, a book which cost 120 naira was later sold for 160 find the profit so very simple example there so the profit is simply the cost price sorry the selling price minus the cost price and from what we are given what is the selling price the th the guy sold it for 160 naira so i have 160 minus the cost price it cost 120 and so that is to say that this person made uh, a profit of, let's write that here, a profit of uh, a 14 naira from the transaction. Okay. Okay, so what about the next one? The next one says that a dress uh, which cost 1,050.50, that's uh, 1,050 naira and 50 kobo to make was sold at 970 so you can see the cost of production is uh, higher than the cost of um, uh, uh, of sales that the cost that, or the amount that you sold the particular dress so meaning that you should already know that this is a loss okay and here rightly they are asking us to find the loss uh, amount so our loss is simply now the cost price because it is a loss so you subtract the cost, uh, the selling price from the cost price, and that is equal to you are going to get 105.50, then minus the selling price, which is 970, and this is going to give you 80 naira and 50 kobo as uh, the loss. So the the seamstress of this particular dress actually got a loss from the transaction okay so i will allow you do the number three it's talking about profit and then the number four is saying how much gain or loss so it's, this one is asking you to determine whether it is a gain or a loss in the transaction and we can quickly do that it says a trader bought it does a dozen biro that's 12 by a pence for 180 naira and sold them at 18 naira each so what whether it is a gain or a loss so let's look at that uh, number four quickly okay so he bought uh, 12 pence it's a dozen at uh, 180 naira so what do you do first uh, there are two ways you can do this you can either get the cost for each pen by dividing 180 by 12 or you can get the total selling price by multiplying 18 by 12. Either ways, you will be able to know whether it is a loss or a gain, and then the amount. So if we say we should get the amount for each pen, so we we'll divide this by 12, and by the time we do that, we will get, okay, so we are going to get 15. So that means the cost price for each pen, since he bought 12 of them at 180, the cost price is uh, 15 naira, and he's selling one at 18. So you can see that the selling price is more than the cost price. And from there, we can see that the profit for each pen is uh, 18 minus 15. So for each pen, this business person is going to make a profit of three naira. And so is a gain. So to get the total profit, you now multiply by the number of pens that he bought and sold, and that is 12. So the total profit or gain for this particular transaction is uh, 36 uh, naira. Okay. Now, so you can see questions where you are told to find whether it's a gain or a loss. All you need to do is know the cost price and the selling price. Whichever one, if the cost price is greater, then it's a loss, and then uh, vice versa. So the fifth one says, a fountain pen was bought at 30 naira, sold at, uh, for 31, find the percentage gain. So 
the selling price is strictly greater than the cost price so it is a what a gain so that means our gain which is profit is simply equal to the uh, selling price which is 31.80 minus the cost price which is 30 so by the time you subtract this you are going to get the profit as one naira 80 kobo so that is to say that the percentage profit so our percentage profit for the transaction is going to be equal to the profit all over the cost price multiplied by 100 and then so if we substitute here we have 1.80 all over cost price which is a 30 then multiplied by 100 so by the time you cancel and then um, you determine your percentage okay so this is going to give you 18 1.8 times 10 is 18 and that is 18 over 3 which is a uh, 6 sorry this is not in naira okay so this is going to give you six percent so the person that did this transaction made a profit of six percent from the transaction okay so the sixth one is asking for the loss percent i will allow you to do that is asking for the loss this person uh, got an article for 640 and sold it at 520 what is the loss percent just get the loss divided by the cost price and multiply by 100 okay so the last one there says a woman got a gross of oranges um for seven naira 20 kobo each okay okay did not say each there okay for all of the gross now uh, and then now later sold them at nine kobo each find the profit so he's already telling us from the question that there is a profit so we are going to look for the cost price so the cost price is actually given as a seven naira uh, 20 kobo now the question is what is the meaning of a gross okay so just like we had a dozen in this example here and a dozen is 12 so what is a gross so a gross is actually equal to a dozen times a dozen which is a 144 so a dozen times a dozen is a gross okay so this person bought um a gross which is 144 oranges for seven naira 20 kobo so in other words if we change everything to kobo you know that if you multiply this by 100 you will get everything in kobo and that is 720 kobo sorry not naira okay so everything is 720 kobo okay so now if we use the previous method i used where you get the value for each orange or you can first of all get the total selling price so he sold uh, nine uh, each of the oranges for nine kobo so let's get this total selling price maybe that should be better since we use the other method in the other example so he sold nine kobo and then he had 144 oranges so if we multiply 144 if we multiply 144 by uh, 9 we are going to get 1296 kobo okay so that is the total selling price so and of course you can see now that it is more than the cost price so it's a profit so what is a profit now our profit therefore is 1000 uh, and 960 minus 720 and if we subtract this we'll have 6 9 minus 2 is 7 and then 12 minus 7 is 5 so the profit is uh, 576 kobo all right and so they are asking us to get the percentage um, or profit. So the percentage profit will therefore be equal to profit all over the cost price multiplied by 100. And what is our profit in this case? 576 all over the cost price, which is 720 multiplied by 100. Okay, so you are going to get 80%. So this guy actually made a lot of profit, 80% of 
his uh, 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 cost price was his profit. Okay, so this is uh, what uh, profit and loss is all about and how to get profit percentage or percentage profit and percentage loss. Okay, so this is where we end it for this video. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do share our videos with your friends and give a thumbs up to this one and any other of our videos. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.